Mike, thanks so much. This morning we have Lynn High in house from the Central New York Food Bank. Nice to see you, Good Lynn. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks, thanks so for much having me for on. coming in. You are talking because Syracuse Nationals is going on this weekend at the New York State Fairgrounds, and actually, people when they go to that event, they can bring food with them for donation. Can you talk about that? That's correct. This is the first year we're partnering with the Syracuse Nationals. We're very excited about it. We're actually going to be out starting tomorrow. On um, Thursday is the car registration day at the Holiday Inn and Electronics Parkway. And then also Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the food bank will have a presence all four of those days, collecting food and funds from fans and car owners as they enter to support our work in our 11 county service area. So people are going to be wondering what food should they bring with them? It's all, of course, non-perishable food, and we're looking for items, um, you know, cereals are great. They're things that mm -hmm. people tend not to think of, but it's a great item for children, um, meal kits, things that are easily used. You know, we, we saw with the flooding, we're helping out with the disaster relief a little bit, and you know, things that are easy one-pot meals really work well for somebody that maybe doesn't have a working stove, um, you know, maybe they just have one burner to mm -hmm. cook on, something that's very easy, you know, but any of your traditional canned products or your box items, anything is very helpful to us. We just got our numbers for our fiscal year that ended June 30th and we distributed 13.4 million pounds of food. Wow. So anything that anybody brings is so helpful to us. Can you talk about the need this time of year? Because usually people, they come out around Thanksgiving, around Christmas time and they help out, but there's this need all year. There is need year round. It never stops for us. We average uh, distributing about a million pounds a month a million pounds of food a month, excuse me. And um, during the summer, what people don't think about is children are home from school. And when they're home from mm -hmm. school, you know, parents are providing three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And oftentimes those are the children that are getting, you know, free lunch at school and free breakfast at school. So it's extra meals that parents are trying to scrape out of their budget when their budget dollars haven't changed. So we do see, you know, people coming in because their children are home from school and they're not able to get that free lunch and free breakfast. All right, well, Lynn, thanks so much for coming thanks, in. And Lisa. again, people can bring non-perishable food items to the Syracuse Nationals. And congratulations, because you're going to be a new mom. Thank so you. We're excited about that. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back.